Hello and welcome to the Optimal Fitness Golf Academy by Glyn Meredith. Uh, this week I thought we would take a look at um, Danny Willett, who won the uh, BMW International Open last week. So if we just have a look at his uh, setup position here from down the line, a very classic setup position, a setup position that a lot of people like to see themselves in, a balanced forwards there just onto the balls of the feet, um, a lovely uh, forward flex there from the hip joint and uh, a lovely straight back position allowing for an efficient turn. So a very nice uh, setup position. Now let's take him through the backswing here. So let's have a look at the gap between the uh, legs and the hands. Starts the backswing, just works the club slightly on the outside here, picks it up just a bit steep. So you can see in that first position through his takeaway, you can see the left arm's kind of disconnected a bit from the chest. Just lagging that club head there slightly uh, out in front of the, uh, of the hands. And the gap between the, the legs and the hands has just slightly increased there. So working the club a little bit on the outside now. As he takes it up, that will tend to continue, so he's just working the club up here into three quarters, second position where the left arm is parallel with the ground. Let's just have a look at that club shaft there. You can see it's a little bit inside the ball, a little bit steep. Um, hands are just working through the middle of the chest there. If we, in fact, compare that to uh, somebody who works the club a little bit different, McElroy here, you can see at that position he's working that club a lot more around his spine angle. A bit more of a classic position, um, club shaft is pointing down at the ball there, hands are more just over the line of the right shoulder. Uh, so that's the difference between the, the two players there. So let's continue to swing that up, gets to the top, gets to a lovely position at the top, the, uh, the left forearm is on the same line, one plane swing through the line of the, uh, the shoulders, very compact there. Um, now, as he starts to bring it down, he does an excellent job of uh, dropping that club on the inside. See the right elbow here, just squeezes into the side of the body as he allows that club to just drop behind him. Um, and in fact, if you look from the top here, just see that little hip shift. His hips make a little wiggle there. They start to unwind. That's an X-factor stretch. He's uh, increasing the separation between the line of his pelvis and his chest, creating a lot more potential power. And you can see as he continues that down, the club's lagging behind him. Those hips have unwound very early now. Um, so a lot of unwinding of the hips from the top. And then they tend to stabilize very early. You'll see they tend not to move from now. And then that allows him to fire the chest and the hands very hard down on top of the ball, creating a lot of power there. And then just fires the hands all the way through to the target. You see an excellent uh, kept his posture there very nicely and is extending his arms all the way through to the target. Um, and then that continues as he fires that ball. Excellent forearm rotation as well as he, as he follows through. Keeps his posture for quite a long time there and just naturally finishes with a lovely balanced uh, finish position on his left side. So that was an excellent way to deliver the club to the ball.